brain, if you look at in the picture, you see that it is bigger compared to this. What is inside here is, is what makes the, 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 the human to be reasoning more than any other animal. Let's draw a line here. You see the line here and then draw a, a lower line. You'll find out that all this is human brain. But for this one is very small. You see now here, all this is human brain. But in this one is very small brain. So it means that human, uh, human have a, a bigger brain compared to other primates or other um, or apes. So we have a bigger brain. So this one is large, the other one is small. So we can say that cranium is uh, part of a skull which encloses the brain. So you have been told, you, you know about the cranium, is this part which encloses, this uh, bone which encloses the what? The brain. So humans have a larger brain, more brain cells. It means that we can reason. So that makes it Yes, uh, to reason, to have a greater intelligence. So uh, they have more brain cells to the body size, to the body size. This is an example of the elephant I gave you that. Although the elephant has a bigger brain compared to us, but we have a bigger brain compared to the body size. So which suggests that we are of a, a great um, intelligence. And then uh, we are seeing here that uh, human skull, if you look at it in detail, yes, these are the things we are going to ask you uh, on the human skull. So they're going to ask you, we have a bigger brain, a large brain, small brain. The, the face is flat here. The face here is sloping. You see them? The face is sloping. Here, uh, the canines are reduced. We don't have um, well-developed canines. These ones, they have a well-developed canine. You can see them here. And then if you look at the foramen magnum, foramen magnum is that hole, eh? is that hole, this hole, which allow this spinal cord to enter. So if you look at here, it is forward. It's forward to the side of the mouth. Yeah? It's forward. So we say that foramen magnum is forward. That's how we want it. If you change it, that is in the, in the center. Is it? No, 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 we won't give you a tick. We want you to say that foramen magnum is forward or it is in the forward position. And then here, uh, foramen magnum is, is, you see, is running backward. Né? So it's running backward. So how do you write it? You say that foramen magnum is backwards. That's what we want. You change the statement, we give you zero. Yes. So uh, basically, the city, this one helps us, the foramen magnum, this hole, uh, it helps us to know whether the individual uh, is, is walking on two limbs or is walking on four limbs. If he's walking on two limbs, we say this bipedal. So we say that that's bipedalism. And then this one has um, a U-shape. Yes, if you look at it, it is a U-shape. Well, this one is rectangular shape. If you draw a line here, you see it is rectangular. Eh? Rectangle, rectangle eh? is rectangular shape. This one is a U shape. Sometimes they call it C shape. Yes. So uh, basically, uh, you need to know those things. If you look at this part, this this part is almost flat. Yeah. Well, this one is protruding out. So we will say that uh, this uh, it has a well developed bro ridge. This is the bro ridge. Uh, they are talking about bro ridge are uh, well developed here. Here we do not have. So basically, you need to know uh, those uh, differences. So in the exam, we will not bring it like this. This is so beautiful. Now uh, in the exam, we will bring it like this. This one will look like this, while this one will look like this, and then this one will look like this. So you see that the teeth are out here. So when you're bringing an exam, we don't bring you like this. No, 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 no. We bring you like, so we bring you like this. And then this one, uh, this one will look like this. That's how, then you ask you, we won't even label, we we'll say it, that give the differences between skull A and skull B. And then from there, we will know that this one bridge will develop this one, uh, will develop canines, we'll talk about that. So I'll show you how you can answer uh, this question. And then you're saying, the, what are the differences between the apes and the humans? So I'm going to repeat, but now here we are um, talking about other things we didn't talk about. Large cranium, the cranium here is large, while this one, the cranium is small. We saw that the scar of where the brain goes, eh, it, 
for the case of humans is large, this one is smaller. And then this one, the face is flat, yes, the face is flat, while this one, the face is sloping. This one, the bridge are not uh, pronounced. I showed you on the face that the bridge are not uh, pronounced. What well, is these ones, the bridge are pronounced or they are well developed. Canines here, we saw that they are reduced. So they are small. While well, these ones, canines are large or the canines are well developed. And then these ones are protruding. The jaws, if you look at the jaws, uh, let me go back. If you look at these jaws, the jaws are protruding out. In, even you can see it here. But here the jaws are not protruding out. Yes, you see that um, the, the jaws are not protruding out. But these ones, they protrude out. So we are saying that jaws are um, less protruding. We, we, the, 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 they are less protruding. We can say that it's less prognantus. Less prognantus. And then this one, uh, more protruding. We can say that it is more prognantus. That's how we can uh, talk about. Then you're saying that this one, foramen magnum, is forward. I repeat, foramen magnum is forward. While this one, foramen magnum, is backward. So we say that this one helps us in the, the, determining whether the animal is, is walking on two limbs or is walking on four limbs. And then you're saying that... Um, more curved spine we are going to look at this one more curved spine that is s shape while this one the less curved spine we call it c shape spine i'm going to explain this one in detail yes and then short and wider that is the pelvis the pelvis is short and wider while this one the, the pelvis is long and narrow i'm going to explain this and this more and and then um we are saying that small and semi-circular palettes. While this one is long and the rectangular uh, palettes. So these ones are small. For the case of humans, if you look at your jaw, yes, they are small and circular. You see, I showed you that this, it looks like C. It's a C shape. While this one is rectangular. If you look at it, you, you saw that it's like a rectangle, yes? While this one is, it's a C. Eh? or it, is, it looks like a U, depending on the direction where you are facing. Yes. So it's like six and nine, almost the same, depending on the direction. So it could be C or it could be U share. So what is bipedalism? Bipedalism is walking on two limbs. So if you walk on two limbs, it means that...